Hello, I am talking about uh, software engineering in terms of uh, building an ESG model. Uh, the idea here is to understand top 10 areas of uh, software engineering so that we can apply that while we uh, work uh, on an ESG or economic simulator or, or a thing like uh, Monte Carlo simulation or a big engine that would uh, be used uh, to project the risk. So we are continuing from where we left. Uh, the basic theme here uh, that we have in front of us uh, for the software engineering is a process model. The process model has a, a prescriptive model. The name suggests prescription. The doctor gives the prescription, do this, do that. The waterfall model, the incremental model, the incremental model, the, the RAD model, rapid development. Software engineering uh, overall, a generic view I am uh, reading from uh, ser serial number 2 here. So layer technology process framework, capability, maturity, model integration, process pattern and uh, process assessment. A generic view of process, generic means uh, very generalized. So a lot of uh, uh, vocab uh, used here. Then we have evolutionary process modeling. Uh, focusing on the words become important because evolutionary is evolving. So prototyping, spiral, concurrent development, final comment on evolutionary process. Then we have agile view of the process. What is agility? Requirement engineering, uh, requirement task, inception, negotiation, specification. This is all about uh, dealing with requirement, the software engineering practices, the essence of practice, core principle, planning, analysis of principle, design modeling principle. Then we have design engineering, design process, design concept, exception, architecture, pattern, modularity, information hiding. When you design something, so once uh, you have the requirement engineering on uh, step six or serial number six, then you would design that. Before design that, you need to uh, check out the practices. Uh, uh, which you would be using so then you will use the design concept then you have a system in front of you so the system hierarchy system modeling system simulation system modeling the Hathay Piravi model the system modeling with UML uh, thing and architectural design which is 10th uh, uh, then you have testing strategy once everything is done you would test testing techniques and building the analysis model over our objective analysis of rule and then you have data modeling concepts like uh, data object data representation continuity. If you look at the entire uh, uh, learning that you want to take from here is that suppose you get a requirement and here uh, our, our focus would be more about requirement of uh, developing a simulation engine uh, that, that requires a lot of complex math so and there are a few ways to look at that and based on the engine you would uh, use the right software engineering principle here uh, to build that model and that's where you are going to learn things Again, uh, going very simple, a generic view, process model, evolutionary, agile, requirement, uh, practice, design, system, architecture, test, and analysis. At the end, you have the data modeling. Moving on the flip side, uh, uh, the terms that you should know that in waterfall, uh, the software process model, the CMM capacity maturity model, I guess the rapid RAD model is rapid uh, action protocol, I'm not sure, but let's uh, look at that it's rapid application development now uh, UML let me copy this and then you have the UML uh, okay software design requirements spiral and DFT intervention section uh, many of the times uh, you need to use each one of them because if you don't go in a structured way your uh, uh, entire goal gets uh, defeated so uh, unified modeling language I think this is what we are going to look at now what I will do here is that first I'll look at the entire syllabus and then I'll take you through a diagram for each one of them so that's what we are going to do in the coming times um, let's move to the first part the agile view of process what is agility agile process XP ASD DSDM scrum crystal FDD and AM it would be interesting to uh, look at all of them uh, so the agile software is a group of software development when required evolves through collaboration between software and processes it promotes adaptive planning evolutionary development or review continuous improvement this one was introduced in uh, uh, 
this so a company called Gentech in India or those KPO model they talk about agile six sigma which means that error free they are not going to make any error and they are going to be agile in the development so you you hear this word agile six sigma a lot of time in in the software practices that are considered to be uh, the best ones so agile methods we have adaptive software development agile modeling agile unified process clear crystal method dynamic uh, system development extreme programming is something that you hear often uh, feature driven development lean software development lean six sigma if you have heard about this can burn development scrum and scrum back then agile practices agile testing time case incremental software development continuous integration and so on so uh, I think uh, the first one should be uh, uh, the agile that we are now looking at and what is agility extreme programming AST and we are going to look at all of them I'm going I'm searching for the word agile to jump on to that chapter so extreme programming adaptive software development DSDM scrum crystal feature driven development and AM the Agile is a practice based software whose scope is to cover both architecture and software process point of view. The Agile philosophy of software engineering stresses four important issues self organization, communication and collaboration, a recognition that represents an opportunity, and emphasis on rapid delivery of software to customer. Agile processes have been designed to address each one of them. So, agility is the need to change the perspective. Most of our assumption that business or technology are at least 50 years old. So, agility is a uh, about uh, the change or the flexibility to change it is reaction but also reaction uh, nimbleness and improvision so nimble means soft and improvision uh, then balancing flexibility and structure the agile process model so the agile process model uh, if you look at here this is 5.2 the agile process model and the numbers are given such that you will be able to understand. So extreme programming was started in uh, uh, May 6, 1996 from Australia. It is already proven. Uh, extreme programming is because uh, it stresses customer satisfaction. Uh, the, f the diagram of extreme programming, unfinished feature, most important feature, iterative planning, project heartbeat, team development, uh, honest plans, daily communication, working software, iterative planning. So this is what uh, you do. Uh, the chart through the extreme programming moves together. Customers enjoy being partners of the developer regardless of the experience level, manager, and customer communication relationship. So, this is the extreme programming part. Then you have adaptive software development. So, likewise, uh, uh, in the agile, the, the name suggests this was flexible, but uh, team manage, team empowerment, uh, uh, project heartbeat, iterative blogging, working model, unfinished, most important feature. So, you uh, still uh, send uh, an update to them. So adaptive software development which is speculate uh, the complex environment planning a paradox according to CS the outcome on factor. so this is the adaptive cycle and likewise uh, you have the different layers so in this chapter we are focusing on agile more than the other technologies first was extreme programming and adaptive software development speculating and other things so we'll go deep into this in the next one